Hello, my name is Lindsay Flanagan and I am an adult geriatric acute care NP student at NKU. Today's date is 7-15 and I'll be dictating a transfer note for the infectious disease team. This patient's um, initials are BEP and date of birth is 9-17 of 1992. Um, the date of admission is 7-11 of 22. Date of transfer is 7-15 of 22. Admitting diagnosis is pelvic pain affecting pregnancy in the third trimester. Transfer diagnosis is UTI and rollout meningitis. Secondary diagnoses are incontractable hip, pelvic, abdominal pain, pyuria on the UA with contaminated urine cultures, um, high fevers, um, Tmax is 103.1, single entry uterine pregnancy, and history of UTIs. Patient did not undergo any procedures during this admission, but neurology has been consulted to perform a lumbar puncture to rule out meningitis. Consultations include infectious disease for the management of fevers unknown or of unknown oranges in the third trimester of pregnancy. Um, obstetrics and gynecology um, consulted for the management of mother and baby in the third trimester of pregnancy, overseeing total management of the patient's care. Neurology is consulted for skills of performing lumbar puncture to rule out um, a CNS infection and meningitis. Um, history of present illness is that this is a 29-year-old female sent to the ER from her OB, who is 28 weeks gestation, presenting with abdominal left lower quadrant pain, pelvic pain for one month, but increasing over the past several days. Patient also admits to having fevers at home. Um, temperature max is 101 degrees Fahrenheit, drenching her with sweat in the middle of the night. See full HMP for details. Patient does deny any chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, but does endorse um, sick contacts recently. She did care for her son two weeks ago who had a fever, but the fever resolved after two days. Hospital course, the patient was initially admitted to a monitored medical, medical surgical unit on the second floor for observation and management. Blood cultures times two were negative and urine culture contaminated upon admission with a benign UA. White blood cell count is 9.9, .9. Uh, LFTs are okay, pro-cal normal, and ESR is 8, MLA slide pace were normal, fetal heart tones measuring 140 beats per minute. Patient underwent MRI of abdomen and pelvis that showed no acute findings. Uh, UA and urine cultures were recollected, and the patient empirically was started on ceftriaxone for a suspected UTI. Repeat showed um, pyuria, but the urine cultures were negative to date. Patient is also started on Flexeril for pain management with good response. Patient now complains of mostly headaches and pain that originates in the lower abdomen flank area radiating up her back and her neck. Neurology has been consulted for lumbar puncture to rule out meningitis or CNS infection. Um, Cetraxone dosage has been adjusted for CNS dosing pending the LP results and vancomycin, ampicillin, and acyclovir started empirically after being cleared with OB for fetal safety. Patient is receiving um, an LR infusion at 75 mLs an hour to main maintain hydration. It's crystalloid. Roxycodone has been pre prescribed as analgesia for breakthrough pain unrelieved by Tylenol. Rocephin is the broad spectrum antibiotic therapy for CNS prophylaxis. Um, vancomycin prescribed for antibiotic therapy to manage meningitis prophylaxis. Acyclovir um, prescribed for antibiotic, and, I'm sorry, empiric antiviral therapy for CNS prophylaxis. Um, Ambien prescribed for sleep aid. Tylenol prescribed for pain management and fever. Um, and Zofran antiemetic therapy. Uh, pending studies are the lumbar puncture. Um, it is to be determined the date, but neurology is yet to see the patient today. Results will be um, relayed to the infectious disease team. Urine culture, 72 hours have passed of the 96 hours total. Results are negative to date, but will be relayed to infectious disease team for management. The patient is not back to baseline functioning. She is alert and oriented to person, time, place, and situation. She is weak and somewhat debilitated from new onset headaches. Patient is an assist times one while ambulating and would benefit from a PT consult. She can perform all activities of daily living with minimal assistance. It is recommended that the patient will follow up with obstetrics likely on a weekly or bi-weekly basis for monitoring of fetal growth on the third trimester of pregnancy upon discharge. The patient will be followed closely by infectious disease until symptoms and fevers reside and for results of pending tests. Unknown if the patient will need to follow up outpatient yet, but she will need physical therapy consult to regain strength and return to baseline functioning. The patient will be transferring out of the will be transferring to the postpartum floor for observation and monitor monitoring since she is pregnant. This floor will be more appropriate for the care of the patient as it specializes in the care of mothers and babies. The patient will be followed by her OBGYN and ID on this floor. The patient is expected to discharge in three to five days.